एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन मेक एन जीरो ऑन कोर्ट शेफ सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट स्टार्ट यू आर गिवन अ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर एन इन वन ऑपरेशन यू कैन इधर सब्ट्रैक्ट थ्री और सब्ट्रैक्ट फोर फ्रॉम एन कैन यू मेक एन जीरो बाई परफॉर्मिंग एनी नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन सो द फर्स्ट लाइन कंटेन्स टी द नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट केसेस सेकेंड लाइन कंटेन्स एन डिनोटिंग इंटीजर विच यू नीड टू मेक जीरो and output is yes or no yes if you can make n zero using any number of operations otherwise no so you can print yes no in upper case lower case whatever so for the first test case it says n equal to 1 so as we can subtract we can do these two operations n minus 3 or n minus 4 any number of times so as one is less than 3 and 4 both we simply output no in this case next 3 so 3 minus 3 gives us 0 so yes in case of 7 first we subtract 3 so 7 minus 3 that is 4 And four minus four is zero, so we output yes in this case. Now, how to deal with this in terms of code? I hope you understand the logic that we can subtract any number of times from n. The amount of three and four is unlimited, which we have. Just we want to know. Suppose we have ten. So if I do Ten minus three, so my ten minus three would give me seven, and then seven minus three minus four would give me zero. So for ten also, output would be yes. Now in case of twelve, you know that twelve comes in table of three and four both, so Directly we can say yes. So what we need to do is first we will take the integer n. Let's take n equal to sixteen. So for n equal to sixteen, first we need to check. So sixteen is divided by four simply. So we can subtract four four times, and hence the answer would be yes in this case. Now considering suppose nineteen. So if we take nineteen. Then first we can subtract uh four from nineteen. If we subtract four, we are left with fifteen, and you know that fifteen comes in table of three, which means three into five. So if we subtract three five times, it will come zero. So we output yes. So yes, the logic is very simple. Just take n. n if n modulus 3 or n modulus 4 is 0 which means n is completely divisible by any of the two numbers then we simply output yes so this is the first case now if this is not there we move to the second case and now what can be the possible case if n is not divisible by 3 or 4 then it can be that n minus 4 is divisible by 3 or n minus 3 is divisible by 4 so we check if n minus 4 is divisible by 3 we update n to n minus 4 and if n minus 3 is divisible by 4 then we subtract 3 from it 
or else also we can subtract 3 because the last condition is this one. Now, here we have checked the modulo. Here we have checked n minus 4 and here n minus 3. Now we keep on subtracting till n is greater than 0. And as soon as these, this condition comes up, which is the first condition, we output yes. And if whole loop runs and nothing is returned, we output no in that case. So this is the logic for this question. I hope you all understand this solution. Thanks for watching.